What's up y'all? Today I'm going to teach you how to do a late Tootsie Roll off the kicker at the cable park on your wakeboard. I heard that this trick can also be called an East Mobe, but I'm not 100% sure about that. So maybe you guys know better than me. If it is called an East Mobe, let me know in the comments. If not, then uh, just late Tootsie. I think this trick is a good option for anyone who's struggling with an early handle pass Tootsie Roll or someone who wants to actually grab their Tootsie Roll. I think this gives you a lot more time early in the trick to grab it and sort of make the trick look better. I did learn the Indie Grab version of this trick today. But for tutorial purposes, I'm just going to be showing you guys the non-grabbed version. Then later down the road, you can add whatever grab you'd like. Also, this is the first time I've ever gone out and learned a trick to make a tutorial for you guys. I think it's going to be pretty cool because I went through a lot of fails and I kind of got to figure out what I did wrong. And I can kind of tell you guys about it rather than learning the trick five years ago and then uh, just kind of showing you now and not really remembering all of my mistakes. It did take me around 20 attempts to land this trick. So hopefully I can kind of get you guys to skip all of my mistakes and it'll only take you a few tries. Anyways, the tricks I recommend before attempting this trick are basically just a front roll, a heel side back roll to blind, and also a toe side backside 180 landing blind. I think all of these would be really great to know. And if you don't already know how to do them, I do have a tutorial for all of these tricks on the channel already. Oh, and also an elephant. You're definitely going to want to know that one. Approach you're going to want to take for this trick for me personally would be to start on the opposite side of the cable of the kicker that you're approaching and then maybe slightly less than a medium edge in towards the kicker. I did try a medium to slightly harder than a medium edge at first and I found that there was quite a lot of tension and it made it hard for me to do the trick and I also attempted sort of a light edge whenever attempting the trick and I definitely found that there wasn't enough tension and I actually couldn't rip myself all the way to blind. So I do find that you need to carry a little bit of speed, slightly less than a medium edge is kind of best for me. It's definitely a good idea for you to try out a couple different edges and figure out what works best for you. Now that you're approaching the kicker and just before it, you should flatten off. And I found that what worked nice for me was to drop my rear hand pretty early, definitely just before I got to the kicker. So I'm already prepared to kind of throw myself in that front roll motion. Now that you've approached the kicker, drop that hand and flatten off. You're going to want to make sure you're nice and squatted as you're going up the kicker. And as you're getting closer and closer towards the peak of the kicker, you're going to want to stand nice and tall at the top to get that straight up pop like you would on your normal front roll. You've left the kicker and sort of initiated that front roll motion off of the top of it. I definitely found what works good for me is to almost slightly elephant your front roll like a front side shifty because this will help the rope get a nice tension so you're ready to rip that handle to your lower back to really generate that backside 180 motion. I'd say at about the three quarter mark of your flip, you should almost be at the peak of your slight elephant of poking your board in that front side direction at the three quarter mark. This is when you can start taking that front hand and really ripping it down to your lower back. This will generate that motion for your backside 180. You're not really gonna be able to see your landing at all. So through the elephant, you're gonna wanna kinda spot the landing early. So whenever you do pull that handle to your lower back, you will be prepared and kind of know in the back of your head when you're gonna land. Now that you kind of have that idea in your head of when you're gonna land from sort of spotting it early on that elephant and you've also already ripped that handle to your lower back. So as you're sort of whipping around and kind of estimating when you're gonna land, maybe last second, you'll be able to spot your landing slightly. You're just gonna wanna bend your knees on impact. Make sure you have your chest all the way over your knees so you don't slip out on your butt. Just bend those knees on impact, get nice and low. And uh, yeah, just absorb it and ride away.
There's actually two things that made this trick pretty difficult for me to learn today. The first one was just honestly figuring out the right edge I needed to take to make sure I had the correct tension to do the trick. I know that every single person is different and I already said this earlier in the video, but I think it's definitely a good idea to try edging hard, try edging soft, trying a medium edge, try kind of the whole range of different edges in towards the kicker so you can kind of have a feel for everything and then you can sort of pick out the edge that you think is correct for you and will make the tension easiest on your body. And the second thing that made this trick difficult for me to learn was my fear of catching a back edge. I almost was just ripping myself to blind too early and just really making sure that it was impossible for me to catch a back edge. It sort of resulted in me almost slipping out or looping out onto my butt every single time. But I will say some of the times where I gave it less of a rip, there's not a single attempt that I actually caught a back edge today. So I don't really find it as risky as I thought it was in my head. So that's 20 plus attempts with zero back edges. So I'd say that it's not that risky. That's how you do a late Tootsie Roll. If you guys like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, comment below what kind of tricks you guys wanna learn in the future and what kind of wakeboarding videos you guys wanna see next. And remember, I'll be uploading a wakeboarding video every second day forever, so make sure you guys subscribe. I'll see y'all next time, peace.